Hey guys, in this screencast, we are going to talk about using geolocation in websites and web apps. A user's accurate location can help you to do many things like targeted marketing, better recommendation of content and many more. Today we will see how to get users latitude and longitude and how to show that on a map. So here I am in my code editor with a blank folder open. Uh, I'll be creating a file, call it index.html and my javascript file too that would be script.js uh, now in my index.html file i'll be creating some boilerplate okay here we go uh, let me change the title to geo location fine uh, now i'll be creating a button right here because we want to implement something like uh, click the button and get your location so on the click of the button we will be fetching the location so let's have a button with a id let's call it get location and put some text get location fine uh, now in my script js file i'll first get a, a reference to the button because we want to add a event listener to it so get location that would be document dot uh, get element by id get location fine uh, now i'll add a event listener so get location dot add event listener my event listener would be click now what I'm using here is uh, an arrow function they are really very useful ES6 features you can use them like a function with the parameter mentioned like this and the arrow between the body of the function and the parameter now I have meant talked about it in more detail in my video about this uh, thing arrow functions okay now inside that uh, first, I'll have to check if the browser supports geolocation or not. To do that, I'll just say if geolocation in a navigator. So the geolocation object must be a part of the navigator object. Else, I'll just console.log not supported. Okay. Uh, now, in this if statement I can now add my code which would be navigator dot geolocation dot get current position now this would give us the current latitude and longitude of the user uh, inside that I'll pass a function which will accept a parameter position I'll use arrow functions again it will also accept error if there is any kind of error what happened here error this will be another function inside my error function i'll just console.log error dot code the error code and the real action will take place inside this function now i'll fetch my latitude and longitude first so latitude would be equal to position dot codes dot latitude uh, I'll also fetch my longitude longitude that would be position dot codes dot longitude once we are done with that let's just print them console dot log latitude longitude all right uh, now once we are done with that let me link my script right here rpt dot js fine all right we should be good to go now let's check it out uh, i'll be uh, hosting this on a live server which is a vs code extension so let me open the live server and here we get the button let me open the console and once we click uh, get location we get the latitude and longitude this is the latitude and longitude where i'm currently sitting now okay now as i told we will also be plotting this uh, in a map image so to hold that map image i'll have to set up a image tag with no src okay once we are done with that okay i'll also be specifying id the id would be map image 
okay now I'll be using Google Maps API to have my map this is quite obvious everyone uses that okay now I'll just have a static map that means just the image of the map I'll be copying this URL to make the request okay now once we have that what we can do here is actually set up my URL to request uh, with along with the parameters so what I'll have here is let Google map URL that would be uh, now this is a template literal what I'm using right here with backticks now they're like uh, JavaScript strings but they let us embed variable names within them so it, it makes the process of adding variables in strings quite easy I'll show it to you how so I'll just paste this URL and add my parameters to uh, send them the request so my first parameter would be center that's what they need okay now uh, this dollar and braces uh, lets us add the variable names inside the template literals what they will do is they will later render this uh, dollar braces and uh, the variable names that would be latitude and longitude to their actual values uh, we'll also have another parameter called zoom that would be let's say 11 and I'll also have another parameter size let that be 400 cross 400 okay once we are done with that I'll get a reference to my image so const map image that would be document dot get element by ID map image fine and I'll set the SRC to Google Map URL. Fine, let's test it out. Let me reload the page and click Get Location. Okay, now here we have got my location. This is Bhubaneswar, which is a city in Orisha, India. Now we can also track changes in location with a function called Watch Position. So to do that, I'll change this get current position to watch position. And now the watch position function function returns a watch ID. So let's say let watch ID equals to that. Now my watch ID will uniquely identify each location request. So what I'll do here is console.log watch ID. I've made a spelling mistake right here. T C H and here too. Now I'll not be able to demonstrate you uh, location changes with watch position because I'm sitting in my room with my laptop. I'm not going anywhere. But uh, the idea is that that every time in regular intervals, this position function or this position callback would be called to give us the updated location. So what I'll do here is still reload this page and let's just see if it works. It works fine. Also it outprints the watch ID which is our unique identifier. One more thing that you can do is you can pass some options to the functions uh, watch position and get current position. To do that you will have to send it as a third parameter. It would be an object and it will have the options and the values. Now I'll not go over all the options that you can send here that will be left to the detailed API docs. Now what I'll use here is only one option that would be enable high accuracy. I'll set that to true. Now this is just to demonstrate to you that we can send options. Uh, now what this enable high accuracy does is it gives you more accurate location but it gives you that slower it may be useful to you when you are building location critical applications which uses GPS and other sensors in a mobile okay let's test it out if it works I'll reload this page and set get location uh, the watch ID is printed and my location there's not much of change here because we are plotting this in a big city level map so not a problem now few more points that I like to talk about is that location is sensitive data. 
So the browsers don't let you use the geolocation API over normal HTTP connections. You have to use HTTPS. Uh, this is to protect the user's location, which might be very private to them. Also, when you're using location data, uh, you haven't seen this in this uh, demonstration that there is a dialog box sort of thing, a sort of permission dialog you might have seen that while using websites or even in some memes which are really popular nowadays. So the prompt comes that do you want to share your location with this domain? Now I have already allowed the location sharing for localhost so it didn't show up. but it can show up to a user and the user may decline. So have that kind of fallback that user may decline you. So handle that error and show something else. Also, if the user allows you, please handle that data responsibly because location data leakage can be serious uh, bad reputation for your application that may ruin you. That will be it for today's video guys. If you learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also share it among your friends. And if you want something more from this channel and if you have questions on this video, please leave them down in the comments. Until then, stay curious, keep coding and thanks for watching.